Okrima Media's Polity, I'm Sana Izamini. Joining me today is researcher and political analyst, Professor Raymond Satna, who discuss his column titled, ANC Renewal Will Remain an Empty Slogan, A New Political Configuration is Needed. Professor, is it valid to place so much stress on how people become ANC members, as long as they are legitimate members and not enticed by money? Well, I think it's correct uh, to audit the membership. And I agree that people who have bought their way into being ANC members or who have been bought, you know, they say that some people have bought whole branches by paying membership for, fees for people so they control a number of branches. Then they can have those branches vote in the elections and control who becomes the leadership. But it's more than that. The ANC or every organization needs to have members who understand the values of the organization, who understand its policies, who understand its goals, who understand its strategies and tactics. Now, when the ANC was first unbanned, I described in my article how we in political education used to train members in how, what it meant, we call it induction, what it meant to be a member of the ANC. And we produced a booklet for branches to carry out the practice because it couldn't be conducted in every branch from the national office. But we would have programs to train others as trainers, and that would be all the way down. Now, that sort of process was continuing around 2001, 2002, because I remember going to speak at a Gauteng training session, but it seems to have fallen away in most of the ANC. I may be wrong, because the ANC is not one thing. You can't just take what's reported in the newspapers or what happens in Johannesburg as representing the whole organization. It may be very different in Somo or Bushbuck Ridge and all these places. We don't, you know, you have to go and visit those places, as I used to do then, to know the difference or how they cope in the rural areas with the fact that people can't read the constitution in many cases, and you have teachers helping them with those things. So people know their rights. So what I think is important is that you need to have a leadership at all levels who bring in members and induct them into values of the constitution, values of the Freedom Charter and all these things that are supposed to be central to the ANC, but it applies to every organization. But the problem is that the members, if those leaders are corrupt, what are they going to induct them into? Are they going to induct them into criminality or are they going to induct them into how they understand national democratic revolution? So I agree with former President Thabo Mbeki when he says there's a problem with the quality of the membership, but the blame cannot be laid at members alone. The blame is with those who uh, bring members in, that they're not taking them through processes so that they can play a particular role. So that's my problem. And having talked about the political school that has to offer induction to the new members, why do you then place so much weight on the level of understanding? Is that not elitist? Well, you know, when I'm talking about uh, the understanding, I'm not talking about being able to talk about Plato and Aristotle and uh, all these sorts of things. What I'm talking about is having a political understanding which enables you to debate and discuss what is the best way of dealing with unemployment. Uh, should we increase the debt to allow more investment in businesses 
that create jobs because it's the smaller businesses that, from what I understand, um, create more jobs than some of these uh, capital-intensive uh, jobs. Uh, that would be one sort of debate, which I don't know enough about myself, but the members need to be given enough information to debate whatever is topical. If there's 70% youth unemployment, what are the ways of dealing with that? How do we keep the youth away from crime? What should our attitude be to the presence of foreign nationals? Is freedom just for South African citizens or is it to all, for all who belong in South Africa, black and white, as the Freedom Charter says? Those sorts of things, people have to be equipped to debate them. And you don't have to go and do a philosophy degree to be able to debate those things. You have to, Moses Cortani didn't ever go to school. And he was one of the leading thinkers of the NC and the Communist Party. Walter Sisulu, when he went to jail, had only standard two. I think he got a, he got matric or he, I don't think he got a degree at jail, but he he was one of the greatest thinkers the NC's ever had. Uh, Anthony Samson in his biography of Mandela says Mandela used to defer to Sisulu intellectually. Mandela who had degrees used to defer to Sisulu. So I'm not talking about degrees. I'm talking about political understanding. Why do you also make light of the ANC planning uh, to renew itself? And lastly, why should it not be able to achieve that? It's had how many years? 27 years or so of ANC rule. And it's actually gone into decline and the same people who brought it into decline are mainly still in the leadership of the ANC. Now, how can they lead renewal? Also, uh, the evidence points to the fact that things have actually got worse since the so-called new dawn. There's much more pollution of water, much more sewage in the streets, much more problems in in the living conditions of the poor, so that I don't have confidence that there's a commitment to this. There have been court decisions saying they must do away with pit toilets in the schools. There are still pit toilets in the schools. So there's still this danger of people falling into pit toilets. Why has the Department of Basic Education not abided by court decisions so that who is going to lead the renewal? My belief is that it needs to be a force outside of the ANC, working with whoever in the ANC is willing to help rebuild the country and meet the basic needs of all. There was researcher and political analyst Professor Raymond Satner speaking to Krima Media's policy about his column titled ANC Renewal Will Remain an Empty Slogan, A New Political Configuration is Needed.